Okay guys, we're out here at the farm. Can in fact this uh with those targets that I made. And the wind's blowing a little bit today, nothing like it was yesterday morning. We had 65 to 80 mile an hour winds in this area. Check out this corn. It's all laid down, beaten down. Some corn fields look like grass fields right now, I like the you know like the crop circles, except the the circle is the whole field. Major bummer for the farmers in this area. But anyway, let's get to the shooting, huh? Going to put these targets I made to the test here. As uh, as I mentioned, they're all 3.6 inches in diameter, which means they're one mil dot at 100 yards, and two mil dots at 50 yards, four at 25, one half mil dot at 200. You get the idea. Today is pretty calm. We have about a five mile an hour variable wind, uh, 90 degrees to our shooting lane. I'll set up five or ten of these targets. Actually, I'm not going to set them up. My little nephew is right there who is too shy to be on camera. And he's going to set them up for me uh, at various ranges from 40 to maybe 200 yards, somewhere in there. Back there at my gun, all the way to the row of corn out there. Metric guys from around the world, yeah, I'm sorry, but this is, uh, I'm using a standard system on this. If you guys were to do this, I would get a, what, a 100 millimeter, 10 centimeter target, and that would be one dot at 100 meters, and you can go from there. So while the units that I'm going to use won't be commonplace with you, you'll at least be able to, you know, use the basic idea, the concept, and do it yourself using the metric system. So here's a look at the landscape with the target set out. This is on low magnification just so we can survey the land a little bit better when I go to shoot. I'll turn it back up to the magnification where one mil dot equals 3.6 inches at 100 yards, true mil dot scope. I'm not shooting for groups here, I'm shooting for the orange dot. And I was adjusting with each shot to try to get my pellet on that orange dot. Okay guys, here's our first target. Um, looks like this one is one and three quarters, something like that. I'm gonna put this at about 60 yards. My rifle is sighted in at 55 yards, so just a tiny bit holdover, and maybe a half dot, a little less than a half dot for windage. The windage, I'm just using my experience. I've shot a lot in the wind, so I kind of have a good idea of what it will do. I'm gonna switch to slow motion for these shots, hopefully so we can see the pellet in flight. Here we go. Okay, our second target it looks to be a, just about one mil dot. For all, maybe a little bit more, 95 yards. The um, heat waves off the horizon making things a little bit difficult. But I'm going to put this at about 95 yards. And at 95, that puts me at about three mil dots holdover and maybe one dot for wind. Not quite that, a half, between a half and one dot for wind.
Okay, target number three. 130 yards is where I'm going to mark this one. Yeah, one, 100's there. 150 is about there. It's about 130. And at 130 yards, I know it's about a six mil dot holdover. Same, uh, same as I took on that pigeon. Do a six mil dot holdover and maybe a dot and a half dot for windage. Oh, and one last thing. You'll notice that I zoom out for these shots, these longer shots. I have to zoom out in order to expose the, the mill dots. So that's why it looks like there's less magnification when there actually isn't. I just have to zoom out in order to be able to see my dots. Right, so I completely forgot to start the camera up for the close-up shots. Sorry about that, guys. Moving on. Alright, I ran into one snag. The targets that were the furthest downrange, I estimated to be at about 150. The other one at about 170, 180 yards. Unfortunately, in order to see them in my scope, I had to cut my magnification in half, and I would just make each mil dot two mil dots. So unfortunately, I can't take shots at them because I just couldn't see them through the camera. But what I will do instead, then, is I'm going to demonstrate hold under. You've seen me take some shots at birds at about 30, 30 to 40 yards where I'm actually holding the crosshairs below where I want to hit and the pellet is striking a half mil that high. The reason for that is my gun is sighted in at 55 yards which means my first zero is at about 18 and the second zero is at 55. I'll put up a graph here so you can have a look at it. And as you can see on this graph then, when my target is at 30 to 40 meters, it's actually shooting high. That's what I'm going to show you right now. Hold under. Here's the hold under target. This one looks to be about three dots. I put this target at about 35 yards, mostly just using my eye, but also using the mill dot system here. That would, that's where I would put it, at 33 yards, 35 yards. So what I'm gonna do is hold one dot under the target, and I'll adjust for a little bit of wind, maybe a half an inch of wind or so. So right about there is gonna be my hold. Okay, and finally, if you want to know how I made those targets, you can go back to the first video I made a few days ago and have a look at how you can turn your pellet tins into a usable mill dot target. That's it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Next video, I promise, will either be hunting or pesting. You have my word. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Anybody need a mulberry tree? Vile weed? <laughs>